Thank you for subscribing and hit that notification bell. Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to show you how to make this calorie shell on my nail here. I have a shell frame around it and then I have the calorie shell. It is made out of gel paste and clear UV LED gel. The first thing I'm going to do is use this beach sand mix that I made and paint my nail two layers of this and it will make my nail look just like the beach. This is the first layer and then after I cure this for one minute I will do another layer. What I've done is cleaned off the tacky layer and then added a few pieces of this shell paper here, which I really don't like it as well because it has like a sticker backing on it and it seems to make it a little bit thicker. So I just really like to use like raw shells without sticker on the back. It's just easier. And right now I am applying a thin layer of some clear builder gel and this is gonna act as a glue while I apply my other nail art onto my nail. And here I am just applying blue shells all the way around the nail. And then I will apply some like tinsel around my nail too. And then some gold foil. And once I get this all into place the way I want it, I will go ahead and cure that for one minute. And that makes up the frame and then the cowrie shell will go right in the middle of this frame. And now I am applying another thin layer of builder gel over top of this frame here and it will help to seal everything in. And I will cure that for one minute and then I will clean off the tacky layer. And then I will start the construction of the cowrie shell. And this is what a cowrie shell looks like and it's going to go right in the center of the nail. So let's go ahead and get started on constructing the cowrie shell. And I will be using a thick gel paste. It's just a, like a thick gel. And I just draw out the cowrie shell and then I start to fill it in with the white gel paste. The first layer is already cured and now it's time to add the second layer of gel paste. And once I get it all on there, I will cure that again for one minute. And as you can see here, I switched brushes because if there is a little bit of a larger area, sometimes I use a bigger brush. So I switch back and forth, but I do like to use that liner brush. That's one of my favorites. Here I am using a thick clear builder gel and I am using this to add the 3D to the cowrie shell because I found by experience that if you keep adding thicker layers of the gel paste, the white is so opaque that sometimes it doesn't want to cure correctly. So you can use a thick clear builder gel and build up the height for the shell build up the 3D, you know, and it cures much better. See, I am flipping my nail over so that gravity will pull downward and give the shell some height. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. And when I get it up to the height that I want, I will go ahead and cure that for one minute. And now I am applying the thick builder gel on the other side, again, building up height and 3D for the gel. Now see, that's what it looks like so far, but I want it to be higher. So I'm going to add an, another layer of the thick clear builder gel. And this second layer of the clear builder gel will be just enough to bring it up to the right height that I want it to be. And I will cure that again for one minute. And that's what it looks like so far. And I think that's going to be very good. I'm satisfied. So now I need to come back in with the thick gel paste, which is a thick, basically gel paint really, and cover up the clear and cure it. Now here I am coming in 
with the thick gel again and I am painting the lines on the calorie shell. And I will cure this for one minute and then I will come back and go over the lines again. Now I'm using an off-white gel polish and I am coming in and painting the calorie shell off-white because really a calorie shell is not completely stark white. So I want it to look more natural. So I will cure this for 30 seconds. And lastly, I will come in with a no wipe matte top coat and top coat this nail and seal everything in and the shell will be matte looking. And to me, it makes it look a little bit more natural when it's matte as opposed to shiny. And this is what it looks like finished. It looks very pretty, very natural. I really like it. And you can see here that I did add some tiny gold beads around the frame and I added those using a no wipe top coat. I also sealed them in with a no wipe top coat and that's it. I am very satisfied with this calorie shell. I really love it. I think maybe sometimes it doesn't go with this design with the papayas, but then I think, you know what? It's wild. It's crazy. It's fun. I like it. Hope you like it too. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.